Hey everyone, now it's no secret that I love theme parks. So today I decided to do a tier list from worst to best for all the theme parks that I've been to. If there's a park you've been to that's not on this list, drop it in the comment section and tell me that I should go visit there. I'm always looking for new theme parks to, to try out. So starting us out in D tier, we don't really have anything in the F tier, haven't really been into any parks that was just complete garbage. But D tier, I'm going to have to put SeaWorld. Now, the whole kind of animal show type thing wasn't really my kind of thing. I was really there more so for the roller coasters. Well, it was more, I went there on a school trip and it was just, we were going to Disney World, but this was one of the other places we went to as well. And I just remember this one being one of the weaker of the parks that I've been to and that, you know, allegations of animal cruelty definitely doesn't help SeaWorld as well but see with all those factors and all that said I gotta put it in D tier it just doesn't really do it for me it's not a park that I'm really gonna go back to next at C tier this is going to be Epcot my biggest problem with Epcot is there just aren't enough good rides and attractions Kind of what I see there, it's it's a tour of the entire world, all these crazy restaurants, getting to taste and drink everything. I just don't have the stomach to eat everything there and really enjoy it all in one day. I'm there more so for the rides and the attractions and the immersive overall experience. And there's just not enough that really captures my attention at Epcot. I didn't have a bad experience. It's not like it was a terrible place, just park that I'm not really going to go back to, but a park that I, I did enjoy when I was there. And for that reason, it was C -tier. it goes in C tier. So those are the only two parks that I think I wouldn't really go out of my way to go back to. So next I'm going to go into B tier. Like most of the parks I've been to have been really good. So B tier is going to be Bush Gardens Williamsburg. For the simple fact that I was there about 10 years ago and I don't really remember a whole lot. I remember the roller toasters being pretty good and the theming itself and immersive experience was just kind of average. There wasn't really a whole lot. It was, whereas Williamsburg is Europe, Tampa Bay is Africa. The Europe theme just wasn't as interesting. I, I'd personally rather just go to Europe and I was really just there for the roller coasters, which they do have some really good roller coasters. And I did enjoy it. It's not, I'm not ripping on Bush Gardens or anything. I think I need to go back just to reassess and determine how the park really is. But from my memory from like 10 years ago, it's only about B tier. Next is going to be Cedar Fair's Carowinds in B tier. Uh, what this, what really prevents Carowinds from going from B tier to A tier is there's just really no theme going on for the park. It's just a bunch of rides. The rise and attractions are pretty good, but that's really just it. And that's the only reason that it's in B tier and not A tier. Next, this is going to be probably a hot take, uh, unpopular opinion, but in B tier is Universal Studios in Orlando. Now, this park is great for the immersive experience, but I just have a few problems with some of the rides. The one big roller coaster just hurts my body too much to actually ride it. I was a little bit unimpressed with the Simpsons ride. I thought the, the whole Simpsons world was really cool. The ride could have been a little bit better. The Fast and Furious ride was a pretty big letdown. But, <laughs> and like I said, other than that roller coaster, it was the only roller coaster they had. There's no other real roller coasters there. Other than that though, the rides were great. The Mummy ride was great. Harry Potter was great. The, the park itself, was a, I really enjoyed it when I was there, but overall, it just doesn't do enough to get out of B tier. And let's not mention that random Jimmy Fallon attraction that's just kind of sitting there, but we, don't, we, don't, we won't dive into it anymore. Everybody say cheese. Oh my god, I almost died! No. I almost died! That was so scary, thank you! It's okay, it's alright. And I've got to say, in all honesty, um, it's the biggest piece of dog shit. I started blasting. Bang, bang. Oh, I don't see so good, so I missed. Then they ran away. I ran after them. Bang! Tried to shoot him in the back. But I don't want so good either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <man. laughs> I can't 
can't take much more of this. Woo! Yeah, baby! Woo! Yeah, baby! I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. Next in B tier, this is going to be Dollywood. I was just there last week. I had a really great time, and it's a perfect example of being able to do um, a, a perfect example of bigger doesn't always mean better. It probably had some of the best small coasters I've been on. The theming was really good. And what's really holding it back from A tier is just there's no like huge, big scale attractions like this is awesome type thing. It's kind of just a more family friendly environment, which was still really fun, but I don't think it's quite good enough to get into A tier. And once you actually hear the parks that are in A tier, you'll understand why this park is not in A tier. It just barely misses out. But Dollywood was really good. I, I would I would go back and probably have a much bigger Smoky Mountain adventure uh, in the future. At the top of B tier, this is going to be Disney's Hollywood Studios. Great park, great shows. You have the Indiana Jones show, fantastic. Tower of Terror. Star Wars ride, the immersive experience was great. Rides and attractions, I I just don't think there were enough rides and attractions. Like there's no there's one roller coaster here, and I don't think the immersive experience was an. They, I don't think they did enough really to put it into the A tier. I enjoyed the parks, I just don't think it was quite good enough. Uh, but hey, you know that's just me. You can have your opinion. I have my opinion. Next is going to be A tier, and I have to I have to list this park. This park has to be an A tier for a sentimental reason. This is going to be Paramount's Carowinds. Yes, that's right. I'm splitting Carowinds up into two two parks, Paramount and Cedar Fair. I, growing up as a kid, this was my my park hometown in Charlotte. The theming was great. I loved Nickelodeon Central. You know, you had the roller, even the roller coasters were themed. We had Top Gun, you had Borga Simulator. And also one ticket got you into the water park. Uh, shout out Boomerang Bay. And let's not forget that SpongeBob SquarePants action theater ride was one of the best rides in the park. It's a shame that, you know, Cedar Fair couldn't keep it around. But I understand, you know, they don't have the rights to it. And let's not forget the nickelodeon's flying super saturator one of the most unique rides i've ever been on never seen a ride like it before never seen one since if you know of a ride like this please tell me so i can go to that park and ride that ride but you know probably doesn't deserve to be up here but for personal reasons paramount's carowinds is number it is in a tier next in a tier this is going to be disney's animal kingdom and you might be thinking what why is this not s tier but there's one park later on this list that I think does what Animal Kingdom does, but does it better. You know, the animal attractions are great. Uh, I didn't spend enough time in here as I wanted to, because this was one of the parks I went to on a school trip. But I, I would love to come back to this park and try to do more. The, the dinosaur area was really cool. I really like the dinosaur ride. The Mount Everest coaster was really good. Overall, it's a great park. I just don't think it deserves to be S tier for the simple fact that there's not enough roller coasters. I'm the roller coasters guy. We just need a few more roller coasters in this park and it'd be perfect. Next at A tier, this is going to be Cedar Point. It was just here last month. And for the same reason that Carowinds doesn't make it into A tier is the reason that Cedar Point doesn't make it into S tier. It has some of the best roller coasters I've ever been on, but there's no theme to the park. And what is a theme park without the immersive experience? You cannot be an S tier without both. Cedar Point has the S tier roller coasters, but does not have the S tier theming. And for that reason, it only sits at A tier. Standing at the top of A tier, this is going to be Disney's Magic Kingdom. I, it took me a long time to decide, you know, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom. I was really trying to think through my head, like which ones I like the most. They're all kind of close together. And in the end, I have to go with the Magic Kingdom because it has the rides and it has the immersive experience. When I think of Disney and being in, immersing myself with inside a Disney movie, I think of the Magic Kingdom. And the only thing separating it from S tier is need some more roller coasters, need some 
just a couple one two big coasters all it needs it'll be s tier now you know what I, you guys know what i like based on what you've heard so far you know what s tier is going to be if you if you know what parks i've been to you know there, there's two parks left coming in at s tier is bush gardens tampa bay i was just talking about animal kingdom bush gardens does what animal kingdom does but does it even better so many more roller coasters you have the, the African safari experience. The theme is there. The African theme is really cool. Bush Gardens, such a great park. Uh, I, I would go back. And if you haven't been, I think it's one of the gems of Florida. There's so many amusement parks in Florida. But it's always sitting in the shadow of Disney World like everything else. But in my opinion, Bush Gardens is the park that stands above Disney World. Lastly, number one, S tier. They hit the nail on the head perfectly. Couldn't have done it even better. Couldn't have done it better. Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. They have literally everything. You walk in, you got the Incredible Hulk coaster, the Spider-Man ride. You can go over to Toon Lagoon, ride some of, some of the best water rides I've ever been on. Kong Skull Island, Jurassic Park, one of my favorite books, one of my favorite movies. You literally feel like you're in the movie. You go over to Harry Potter World. Uh, one again, another one of my favorite books, favorite movies. The Hagrid's Motorbike Coaster, one of the best roller coasters. The Veloci Coaster, one of the most intense coasters. Just walking through Hogsmeade, there's so much to look at. Even when you're waiting in the line, there's so much to look at. Sometimes I'm like, oh, wait time, five minutes. Man, I want to stop and look at everything. <laughs> Universal Islands Adventure, best theme park I've been to. It's S tier, and I'm so excited to go back because I saw that they... Uh, my favorite animated movie, How to Train Your Dragon, is getting its own world in Universal Studios, and I'm so excited. So like I said before, if there's a park that I haven't been to, leave it in the comment section, and maybe I'll check it out. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section if you disagree with anything or if you agree with anything. I'll see you guys next time. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel so. <laughs>